Here we are going to solve another example problem on vector addition. Four forces are exerted on the object shown on the figure. The net force on the object is 4.0 newton to the right. What are the magnitudes of F3 and F4 referring to force 3 and force 4? Of course, we all know that force is a vector. So we have four vectors given here f1 is directed downward f2 is directed 20 degrees from the positive x-axis with a magnitude of 6.0 f1 has a magnitude of 5.0 f3 is directed upward and f4 is directed to the left the direction of these vectors are indicated by the head of the arrow okay so kung saan nakatutok yung arrow, uh, there is the direction of the vector. Okay? So, what is given here is the resultant. Okay? So, we are given the resultant. The resultant is 4.0 newton to the right. So, what does this mean? Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? This means that for the resultant, For the resultant, since this is to the right, the resultant is purely x. Diba? Wala siyang y component. So, Rx is equal to 4.0 newton since this is to the right. So, we have positive. No? And then Ry, since our resultant is purely to the right, Ry is 0. We do not have any component in the y direction. Right? So, those are our given. Now, uh, looking at the vectors for F1, uh, for vector F1, this is purely downward. So, F1x is 0. We do not have any x component for F1. And F1y, the y component of uh, Vector F1 is negative 5.0. Since this is downward, so we have negative in the Y direction. Those are our components for vector F1. For F2, okay, for vector F2, this is directed to the right and upward. So we have F2x is uh, the magnitude 6.0 and then cosine of the angle 20 this okay so we have 6.0 cosine of 20 this using our calculator we have 6 times 20 we have 5.5.63 8, 2. And F2Y, since this is uh, upward, we also have positive 6.0 sine of 20 degrees. 6 times sine of 20 degrees is 2.0521. Uh, These are all in newtons, okay? Lahat ng ating values are in newtons. For vector F3, F3 is directed upward. So, F3x is 0. We do not have any horizontal component. And F3y uh, is positive F3. Whatever the magnitude of F3 is the magnitude of F3y. Right? We do not have any value for F3, so we leave it as F3. For vector F4, F4 is directed to the left, so the, the horizontal component is negative F4. Whatever the magnitude F4, the negative of that is the component of vector F4. And F4y is 0 because there is no 
uh, vertical component. Yeah, kasi nga directed siya to the left. No? Now, since we are given the resultant and the components of the vectors, we can now compute. Ano? We can now equate. I mean, the x component of each of the vectors, if we add them, should be equal to the x component of the resultant. In this case, f1x is 0. And then f2x is positive 5.6382. And then f3x is 0. And then f4x, that is negative f4, equate to the component of the resultant, which is positive 4.0 newton. Okay? So what did we do here? We just get the uh, uh, sum. This is the summation of the vectors. Summation f of x. And we equate it to the resultant x component. Okay? So we have f4 this is just simple algebra now so f4 is just 5.6382 5.6382 minus 4 point so we have f4 equals 1.63682 newtons this is now our uh, magnitude for f4 Okay, let us highlight this. This is our answer for F4. And then, using the same uh, solution for summation forces in the Y direction. So, we have F1Y is negative 5.0. F2Y is positive 2.0521. F3Y is positive F3. And F4Y is 0. Equate it to the uh, y component of the resultant, which is zero. Okay, solving for f3. F3 is just equal to two point. Uh, that's five point zero minus two point zero five two one, which is equal to two point uh, nine four seven nine newtons. Right, so we got newtons as the unit because the given forces are in newtons. Okay, this is now our uh, F3. F3 is 2.9479 newtons. So those are the magnitudes of F3 and F4. Okay, so that's it for this problem.